it's week nine of the National Football League. And we'll see the Bears, rookie linebacker. He's been one of his team's best defenders all season with 11 sacks so far this year. It's the Bears and the Saints just ahead on EA Sports. It is always a celebration here in the city of New Orleans, and we are just outside of the French Quarter at the Superdome. Today, it's a Week 9 matchup. We are all set to go, as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the New Orleans Saints. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Saints team as they interplay. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Bears, they're halfway home. Look. The Bears defense ready to go and in good form coming off the shutout a week ago. And the one we'll be watching is this man, head linebacker. And he was at it again last week, adding to his season sack total. He's the NFL leader in that category, and he's just become almost impossible to block on a regular basis. On play action, it's Carr. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And they get to him right out of the gate. And this defense hoping that that's a harbinger of things to come. Yeah, when you give up a first play sack, makes your quarterback wonder if he's going to go to the sideline to talk with his offense coordinator and head coach and say, hey, you know that game plan we put together? We might need to change it right now. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. And oh, he coughs up the football near his own goal line. And this will be gathered up in the end zone. And that's a defensive touchdown. That's something you have to be wary of on your side of the field, that close to the goal line. The defense, they are looking for that football. They got it. They scored it. You are so right, and the quarterback has to speed things up himself. So close to the goal line, they're going to get after you. Make sure you get rid of the football and in a safe place. Back out is the Bears defense. They had that strip a moment ago that led to the return for a score, so they're playing free and easy now as they try to shut down this offense again. Pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. The numbers there for Camaro from a week ago. 13 carries, 72 yards. When a winning streak stretches this far, you start to wonder, if a team is truly unstoppable. And here's a guy who's been very much the legs that have helped drive this team to wins week after week. And even when teams have keyed on him and tried to slow him down, he's still gotten the job done enough to avoid a loss. Talking with him in pregame, though, he thinks that this week could be his biggest week yet. Third and three. To throw its car. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Saints first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Trying the left side with Kamara. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Again, it's Camaro. And he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage, but that's about it. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. You look at this Bears defense. They were excellent last week in the win over the Chargers. Yeah, they pitched a shutout in that game, didn't they? And those don't come around all that often in the NFL. The ability to keep someone out of pressure, and he's taken down. A Bears sack. Now we're going to get a stoppage. It appears to be an injured Bear on the field. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside.
The Chicago defensive unit back out there. They lead 7-0, trying to put a stop together here as this drive starts with a first down. They begin on the ground with Camaro, and he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. From the 34-yard line, here's a second down and nine. Here's Kamara off the draw. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Not many boos just yet from this home crowd, but they may be starting soon as I'm starting to detect an uneasy murmur through this crowd. This offense, they've been lifeless in this first half. And now here's another punting situation and a fourth down. Back out is the Bears' defense. Their guys have the lead here in this first half, and they'll try to further the cause on their end as this drive begins first and ten. First down. He gets it to Thomas. And he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line. Give him 10 yards there. And back by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Throwing now is Carr. There's Chris Olave. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And it's second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and two. They stay on the ground. This time it's Kamara. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Give him eight yards on the play, and they pick up the first. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Carr. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. He already had the one fumble loss, so now two fumbles lost here in this first half. Not setting the pace the way that you want it done. I mean, here in the first half, already twice the ball's come out and hit the turf. Got to find a way to take care of it. Otherwise, they may have to start thinking about maybe someone different at that position. Leonard Fournette making his way back out there. Those are his numbers through roughly the first half of the season. And given that, you'd have to think he's on pace for a 1,000-yard campaign. Steady as he goes. Steady goes the offense. But you know what else is happening, too? Because they are a team now recognized with the ability to run the football. You've got to be able The Chicago defensive unit back out there. They've had the upper hand so far this first half of play, working with a good lead already as they look to defend this first down. They fake the handoff, now Carr. 
under pressure, they got him again. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Now Carr. Alave holds it in. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his car on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. Back out is the Bears defense. And after their guys were forced to punt a moment ago, they'll try to force one of their own here as this drive begins with a first down. Car now on first down. Over the middle, into the hands of Michael Thomas. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Now. From the 26, they'll line up. Four. Car. And that's going to be incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. This time they stay on the ground. And yeah, they will bottle him up behind the line. And now will they use a timeout? He lost two and it brings up fourth.
The Chicago defensive unit back out there. They'll play with a lead here to begin this third quarter. Looking for another solid half of football to carry them to victory. On first down, Carr. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Well, they certainly aren't letting up today, partner, because they've forced big turnovers already. And it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. Carr to throw on second down. Open man downfield is Johnson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 29 yards. First down. Kamara up the middle. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Car going to throw. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. And now the ball's out. Carr lost it. Fumble. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. Brandon, that's the third time he's fumbled so far in this game. And, you know, you can make excuses for each and every one of them, but the bottom line is he's got to take care of it better. And now that he's shown a propensity for fumbling it, just think about what the defenders are trying to do. Yeah, well, guys hate one fumble, twos, oh my goodness, three or more. Wow. Just doesn't make any sense, does it? the Bears defense they've done a really nice job of slowing the tempo of this offense and as a result they've got a comfortable third quarter lead as this next drive begins first and ten Help. on first and ten here's Carr and his throw is going to be incomplete and there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. Glad to be in the great city of New Orleans, rolling along here in the third quarter, second and ten. To throw his car. Pressure comes and down he goes. Well, this is getting ridiculous. Eight sacks now. That time multiple guys get to it. So one quick easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally <laughs> is. Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Carr now to throw. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there. It's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out. Not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this... The Chicago defensive unit back out there. They've pitched the shutout here into the fourth quarter. Been sensational. 
The question, can they finish it off? They'll need to come up with another stop here. Now it's Carr. Finding Johnson on the out route. That's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A well-executed 22-yard gain. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to... Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Uh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now, and if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. They'll get this out to Kamara. Holding offense. Well, there have been a ton of sacks. They were just trying to prevent another. So what you're telling me is the conventional way has not really worked for them, huh? Not at all. Not at all. So he tries to grab him here, and they still get caught. Now, now they face a second Ready? and long following Ready? the holding Go, penalty. Here's Carr to throw. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. The Saints on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This will be third and a mile. Now Carr. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. Pushing his way through. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. Now, now Carr, got to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. Back out is the Bears' defense. They've put in a very good shift so far, and this one pretty well in hand, just looking to finish strong here in the fourth as this next drive starts first and 10. Throwing on first down is Carr. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Carr. In trouble, and he's taken down. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. Talking about vocabulary isn't that great, but to me, there's only one word that fits this front seven today, and that's dominant. Four and five sacks is already rare in one game. Getting to more than six in one contest while winning by this many points? An absolutely astounding effort by every player involved. Under pressure, and they got to him again. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Talk about two sides of the ball across purposes because mercifully, this game's almost over for the offense, but the defense, they still want to get a few shots in. That front seven, 
They've loved this ball game. They've been able to pad their stats, and maybe some backups can get in and get a sack as well. The Chicago defensive unit back out there. They'll try to get the football right back to their offense who just punted. So now they'll try to force a punt themselves. It's first and ten. To throw, it's Carr. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Now Carr throwing on second down. And the pressure gets there. He'll go down. It's a sack. And it is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. We're good, we're good. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. So, Charles, I mean, this is just becoming an exhibition now on how to rush the passer. Yeah, and I can't help but laugh a little bit because I'm enjoying what we're watching. This is coming from a guy who was in college just a year ago, and we keep harping on their evaluation. They saw not just a guy who could rush the passer, but could rush the passer well, and that's why they took him as high as they did. Back out is the Bears defense. They'll be summoned one more time here in the final minute of this football game. Do you? I mean, you talk about frustrating all the way through. And that last error, I think that crystallizes it, doesn't it? Absolutely. That's been representative of their entire game still being shut out. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. Well, they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. Mm -hmm. 